Oh hey, welcome to the first video in the chemistry series on atomic chemistry and radioactivity. Um, it kind of presumes that you've done high school chemistry. We do go over some basic concepts quickly at the start, but um, if you haven't done high school chemistry and you don't know some of this stuff straight up, then um, you might want to go back and review. So first of all, atomic structure. So three particles make up atoms protons, neutrons, and electrons. So protons are positively charged, and neutrons have no charge, they're neutral, and electrons are negatively charged. And protons and neutrons are found in the nucleus, that's the center of the atom, and electrons orbit around the nucleus. Um, additionally, protons and neutrons are a lot larger than electrons, they have a lot more mass, electrons have almost negligible mass. Um, so down here, protons and electrons in the nucleus, electrons orbit around the nucleus. So in our simple model of the atom, um, this is helium, helium-4, so classic what you fill balloons with. Um, you've got the protons and neutrons forming the nucleus in the center, and the electrons usually form an electron pair, one spin up, one spin down, we'll talk about that later when we talk about quantum. Um, they orbit around the nucleus. Um, so that's just a really simple model. Now with different atoms and different elements you can get isotopes. So Z is the atomic number, it's the number of protons. The number of protons decides what element it is. So this should all make a bit of sense. Is isotopes are variants on elements, so they have the changed mass number, but the same atomic number, and are the same element. So the only thing that's really different is that they have a different number of neutrons. It's neutrons. Neutrons are the key in isotopes. So some isotopes are stable, others are unstable and will undergo radioactive decay. So example is here. So this is tritium, so hydrogen 3, so it has one proton and two neutrons. Normally a hydrogen has only one proton, no neutrons. But in this case, it's called tritium because it's got three particles as opposed to one. So it has too many neutrons, and in this case, it's going to decay down. It's an unstable isotope. And in the next video, we'll talk about why it's an unstable isotope. But for example, here, you've got tritium decaying down to become helium-3, which is fairly stable. And it's emitting what's called a beta particle. We'll talk more about them. They're, they're just electrons. So you can see that you've got a nucleus with one proton and two neutrons emitting a, an electron to get a nucleus with two protons and one neutron. And it's emitting an electron because that's a conservation of charge thing. You have one positive charge here, you have one, two positive charges, but it's cancelled out by the negative charge, so essentially you have a net charge of one again. That's just the nucleus. There's other electrons orbiting around that we're ignoring at the moment. So that's the first video for nuclear chemistry.